Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to explain high-pass filter that is image sharpening, which is a topic from digital image processing. So, what is high-pass filter? High-pass filter can be used to make an image appear sharper. So, what happens in high-pass filter? In this image becomes sharper. These filters emphasize fine details in the image. That means fine details in the image will appear prominently after high-pass filtering. High-pass filtering works in exactly the same way as low-pass filtering. That means whatever we learn in low-pass filtering. In low-pass filtering, what happens? We convolve a mask over the image. Same way, high-pass filtering also works in the similar manner. What is the difference in this? Just its convolution kernel is different. That means the mask used will be different. Now, what happens when we high-pass any filter, we will give similar kind of images as the output image in which you can see that the edges. Edges means you can see these body parts, this body images, the background and the foreground, it is clearly seen. They are more sharp. Now, what is general procedure to convolve mask? So, we have done it earlier also, but let me explain it one more time. Suppose this is any image and this is kernel. Now, this kernel will be different for high-pass filtering. This is just an example. So, this is one mask and this is image. So, what we do, we calculate sum of product. Sum of product means we take this 0 into minus 1, then we add it plus 25 into 0, plus 75 into 1, it is shown out here, plus 0 into minus 2, plus 75 into 0, plus 80 into 2, plus 0 into minus 1, plus 75 into 0, plus 80 into 1. So, we calculate, we put the mask, overlay the mask out here, we calculate sum of product. After calculation of sum of product, say we got in this example 235. So, what we do, we replace this central pixel of the mask. Central pixel of the mask means 75 by new value that is 235. Then after that, what we do, we shift this mask to the next position. That means we slide that mask towards right and then we perform same process and after that, again, we replace this middle pixel that is 80 with the new value and we will put it here. So, in short, what happens every time we put the mask at particular position and we uh, shift it towards the right in the image, then we draw, bring it to the second row and then again we will shift, then again bring it uh, lower and then again shift. But before doing that, how to handle pixels close to the boundaries? So, here it is shown either we can pad the image with the zeros on all four sides or we can perform wrap around procedure. So, what is meaning of padding with zeros? Suppose we have this any image which is uh, say, uh, say it has four rows and five columns. So, what happens in pad with zero? We pad this image on all four sides with zeros and then we put this mask out here as a first position. So that we can replace this 8. After convolution, we can replace this 8 by new value. Then again, shift this mask towards right and continue the process. Now, what happens in wrap around? Wrap around, suppose this is image. What we do, we take this bottom, bottom row as the top row and this corner pixel 5 as top right corner pixel. Similarly, what we can do rightmost row, we can put it in the leftmost, uh, uh, sorry, uh, rightmost column in the leftmost position and then the pixel 3 will go here. That means this corner pixel will go here. Similarly, top row can be brought in the bottom row and left column in the right column. And then we can put the pixel out here and then after convolution, you can replace this 8 by new value. So, what happens if we pad the image with 0 or with wrap around, then the image size and output image size will remain same. Now, you can see here the sample here. This is an image in which it is padded with all zeros all around. And suppose this is kernel. This is any, any kernel. So, what happens every time we put it at particular position and then 
convolve it with the image values. That means convolution means we calculate sum of product and then replace this central pixel that is 60 by new value that is 114. Then we shift the mass towards right. Then again, we calculate sum of product and then replace next value like 113 by 328 and so on. So here what happens, this is your image uh, size. So output and image, uh, output and input image size will remain C. So let's see what is high pass filter. You can see here in high pass filter, this is image, which is a five by five image. And here it is not padded with zero and it is not wrap around also just applied directly on the image. And that's why the output image size is smaller, smaller as compared to input image size. What is this? This is a sharpening filter mask for high pass filter. What is sharpening filter mask for high pass filter? It is minus one, minus one, minus one all around and at the center it is eight. It may be eight, nine, nine. anything. A, a little variation will be there in the output image if you change this central value. So what happens? You will get these values after high pass filtering. So if you plot it like this, the image output image will be something like this minus 114 means more darker and then 258 means almost white or so on, something like this. So what happened in high pass filter, as I said, what high, high pass filter does, it extract the images, it sharpens your image. It extract the edges in the image. So you can see here, concentrate on the input image here. These values are 71, 76, 73, 68, and 59. These values are very close to black. As we know that uh, zero represents perfect black and 255 represents perfect white. So these 71, 76, these values are close to black. So it, uh, the values must be black, pixels must be black. As compared to this, this 153, you can see here, 153, 164, 164, these are close to white. And that's why you can see that there is a border. You can see that these edges are clear, sorry. These edges are clearly seen in the output image. So it will sharpen your image. What high pass filter does, high pass filter will sharpen the image. And for high pass filter, the mask is shown out here. What you have to do, you have to put this mask and the input image, convolve it and replace the central pixel value with new pixel and you will get sharpened high pass filtered image. So thank you very much. Thanks for watching.